I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATM. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling. Wonderful time, man. We got a great show ahead. Let's give it up one time for Spotlight Over the City. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the lovely Terry Terry T Bomb Long. We got a great show, man. Let's rock. Hey, hey DMV, we love you guys. We made it. We're here. It's 2021. We made it. Nigga, it's 2021, we made but guess what? We here, man. Everybody's still alive. Nigga, we Everybody made healthy. It. <laughs> you see what I've been dealing with in 2020. So, hey, hey, let me give him a drink. I need hey. Yes, y'all. Happy New Year, Hey, everybody. 2021, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, all that good us? stuff, man. Did you miss us? Well, guess what? No, no further ado. We got a great show. This year, we're going to turn it all the way up for you guys. We got some amazing things. But before we go any further, I'd like to give it up for you broadcast. UBM, the whole staff, yes. uh, Amber. We my, love y'all. We, we, we got the best gang, man. We got James in the building. We got Justin, Mighty Mouse, Amber, and all of the gang that helps make this thing click. Every single week, I we had to shout them out. We love them. Those are the faces behind the faces. So please be clear. That's who make us shine every single Thursday. Let's go. Let's go. Happy New Year, everybody. And as Stan already said, we have an amazing show as per usual. As usual. Yes. I smell some food. You know why? Because we uh -oh. got some of our uh -oh. friends. They're our friends, right? And they are here tonight. Grub Rockstar Catering is in the building, y'all. Yep, and they got the food. Y'all know I'm a foodie. Time. When they bring us food, yes. you know you got to give it up. <laughs> I cannot wait for that. And listen, that's not it. We have got activists and she is also former uh, president of the NCAA chapter up in uh, Minnesota. We've got Leslie E. Redmond. She's from this area. Hey. So she's going to be plugging in a little later. We've got R&B star Highland. Look, R&B star Highland star joining the show okay. a little later. Yes, That's he's got it. some new lit music out. We're going to catch up with him. And closing the show today, another DMV talent talent i love got? the young talent right in the dmv y'all sleeping on the dmv and you're gonna find out exactly why Better later in the show we got a live performance by poet and rap artist marley ib y'all so give it up we got a really good yeah, show yeah let's live, give it up let's put them hands together we got us a live show welcome to 2021 let's go y'all but before we get started we got name we that got? song uh-oh name that song uh -oh. with stacking t-bomb yoshi y'all hey y'all hold on to y'all seats now 
So let me just say this. I got to always, this 2021, in case y'all missed us last year, they called me the voice to make a moist. Here we go. And so when, this this is a different type make of thing. Make me moist tonight then. Do it. Let me see you I'm do it. I'm working on it right now. Do it. Let me let see me you do it. <laughs> I'm working on All right, so for those of you who are just now tuning into our show, name that song with Stack and T-Bomb. What we do is we name, we sing a few bars, not the whole damn song, Stan. We sing a few bars Don't cut me off. of a song, Don't me and then you name the song and the artist, and you can win a T-shirt, one of these mugs, or a cap, whatever your choice is. Um, but you have to guess the same name of the song and the artist while we're on the live show, so we'll check. I the- notice how you, you, you always got the rules. You make all the rules up. Do you have a different rule? No, it's just, I'm going to go with what you say. Okay. So make sure, name the song, name the artist, win a mug, <clears> t-shirt, <throat> hat, pin, <clears throat> something, something coming. Okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah, hey, ladies first. You already know what it okay. is. Okay. Let's give it up for my wife. Now, she good now. I'm going to tell you right now. Now, T-Bomb can sing. Okay. She be, she be kind of fake <clears throat> a little bit. Let's come on. Let's <clears throat> I'm ready. Bring, it, bring it from the gut, to, though. I had to get, the, get my voice you want together. seven? Which one of your cameras you on? Make sure she's seven. Seven. Go look right into okay. it. Okay. All right. I'm a little heated, but okay. Whew. Okay. I'll make you more. I oh. will love you anyway. Even if you cannot stay I think you are the one for me Here is where you are to be I just want to satisfy you Cause you're not mine and I can't deny it Don't you hear me talking baby Love me now or I'll go crazy Whoa. All right, all right. Cut that That's damn it. thing now That's, That's what I say. That's it. All right, Let's give it up T-Bone Alright yep 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 Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T bomb. Yeah. Okay. I toasted so, that. Yeah, toast it up. So who so, knows the name of my song so wait, and the artist? We need the name of the song, but don't forget the artist. You can't win on half of it. We're gonna give you a half half t shirt. We're gonna cut it in half. You gotta know the whole thing. Man. I'm gonna give you a belly the shirt. Whole a crop get a crop shirt. shirt like Ezekiel Elliott. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah. So anyway. Go. It's your <clears> go. I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit, but I used to travel with this group. So no, these you was didn't. My... Go. <laughs> Who's one of these damn cameras I'm on here? <clears throat> Get it together. You've been working all day. Okay. I know you want to complain. Hey. I only want to be there for you. Get it, baby. Do you call my name? Yes. I can work around you. Okay. I just want to make you smile. What's this? I know you can't be my full-time baby, so let me oh, be you your part-time you love, yeah. yeah. If you don't mind. Man, you can't go, keep going. If you don't mind, I do you just No, fine. man, you can't I, keep, you can't do that. Oh, see, I, I'm a singer, Terry. Like, that's why I, I get into it, you know what I'm saying? Whew, I'm back, man. Okay. Now look, name the artist, name the song. You Where's sang them? the whole damn song. I did not. That's the intro. Don't tell them. That's that's. Okay, so if so you know the, the, go, go ahead. Do you know the artist? I do. I'm gonna give you a t-shirt tonight, a crop top with your boobs out, like with the thing cut out, like like how the with the girl Rihanna used to wear the okay. thing with the ass Okay, all right, out. let's do I'm it. do that. So name the song, name the artist. Tell me what you got. <laughs> Okay, all right. Amber got to keep us on track. Okay. You don't have no pants with your ass out? Like for the house? I do. I got I got something that has my butt cheeks out. Wear them tonight. Okay, I do. Keep going. Let's go. Okay. All right. So listen, um, we're going to do a little something a little different this tonight. Um, Spotlight News, as you all know, um, is sponsored by Umbrella Therapeutic Services and also Shea Butter Like Whoa. Hot. Umbrella Therapeutic Services is DC's yes, most reliable home. and trusted behavioral health organization. Indeed. Umbrella provides community support, medication management, therapy for individuals and groups. Any DC resident ages five on up, you're eligible for Umbrella five Services. To they accept Medicaid, Medicare, and private health insurance plans. You can reach Umbrella by calling them at 1 888 793 4357. Again, that number is 1 888. Seven nine three four three five seven. That's Umbrella Therapeutic Services CEO Wes Jones. Hey, he's family. Most definitely. Shout out to Big West. But before we go any further, mental health is a serious, serious, serious issue. It is. A lot of people are not just been going through it, but extra going through it now because of the times that we're facing. A lot of crisis going on. A lot of changes in uh, just your regular activity. So mental health, please take it seriously. If you're crying out, don't cry by yourself. Make sure you reach out to somebody who can get you some help. It's not a, 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 a we in the black community especially we seem to suffer. 
with trying to reach out and get help. So make sure you're not that person and uh, suffer in silence. Yes, I agree. Um, Shea Butter Like Whoa, they, uh -oh. pro they provide gentle, natural skincare products that are 100% non-toxic. They, they have wonderful scents. They have um, sugar scrubs. They... Um, I found a, a secret that I will scrub. tell you. Yeah, I have a sugar scrub. But one oh. thing I learned about the shea butter is when you put it on your skin, if you just let it sit there for a few seconds, let it sit for a few seconds, let it get a little like hot on your skin, let the fumes from your skin come out and then rub it in. It's a whole different experience. I just learned that so over the holidays. You to do this? I mm -hmm. just learned it on my own over the holidays because it was so hot in the bathroom. So I was just like, let me just put it on right now. Mm. And then after I rubbed it in after about 20, 30 seconds, it was like you start getting hot. butter. So, um, real butter. So, it's really nice. The scents are nice, and um, you smell really good when Actually, you put it on. the scents are nice. Mango's my favorite. I just, I discovered a new one, though. The, uh, what's the, uh, baby, baby powder, powder stuff or something, but it's, it's a natural smell, so it's kind of clean, like a clean smell. Without it's nice. Without smelling all deodorant and all that kind of stuff. Is that a word? Yeah, deodorant. deodorant. But listen, you can get a discount because you are part of our Spotlight family, right? So go to www.sheabutterlikewo.com. Go do it now. What? What you and go in? on and get you. You got to put in SPOT20, SPOT20, and you get 10% off of your entire order. And we stand by the uh, Shea Butter because I got some on right now. And it seems to be working. Stan been all over me. Yeah, it's working. You look cute, too, by the way. Oh, thank this. you. Yeah, I like you with your El Natural. Y'all see, I got my She's bush natural. back. natural. You ain't got I no got my bush back. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's yeah. growing, too. All all natural yeah all natural 2021 that's right okay all right well we love to love to give black businesses some you know some spotlight so this week we're going to mention i went up to uh, baltimore this past weekend to tactical force training solution Dwayne elmore is <laughs> offering firearm safety courses in baltimore him and his team they also offer security executive protection and investigation services so you can follow their facebook page at tactical force training solution and head over to their website which is is tactical force training solution dot square dot site. Now listen, I went and I really learned gun safety. You're a real I learned, shooter too. I learned you a shooter. I'm a I shooter know. now, y'all. I Don't mean a shooter like with me. Right Don't, in the middle. I'm, like, I'm not playing no games and no then, more. And then I, so all and then these I, white supremacists just, and shit come wait, on wait, to my down. door. Hey, hey, come hey, on. Hey. Come back. Bring okay. Back. Don't, all right. Don't do that. Okay. I'm so sorry. so look, she she in there focus. She like this. Yes. I say Terry, would you used to be the police or something? Like she focus hit. Right yes. in the middle. I, I said, man, you good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. you I ready. Be, so, yes, I be thinking so, like if I ever walk home or walk in the house, what I'm going to do is stand in there with somebody, another woman. I be think, thinking like that. So we, when no, I, no, wait, wait, no. It's for burglars. It's for burglars and intruders, not yeah. for staying, being nobody. Different. I was just saying that's how I got the target. Oh. That's how I was so intense with that's it. That's why they shouldn't give you the license. So this is, listen, listen. <laughs> okay. I'm nervous. You mess me up every single time. On a serious note. Don't take it lightly. Get your gun permit as soon as you can. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Make sure you uh, link up with us. Uh, it's a black uh, company. That, it is black owned. No, it's oh. also a black company that does the, uh, instead of uh, the, who's the white people, the arms people, the, the National Firearms. NRA. Firearms, NRA. There's a black a company. Black, yes, look it up. I don't know what it is called. I forgot. I'll tell y'all so next make week. Sure, make sure you link up and get this. Don't be afraid to have something to protect your home because you may need it in the long run. Just yeah, I agree. I was glad I took it, and so I'll get to go get my fingerprints, and then I'm gonna be uh, certified and ready, y'all. So certified um, and ready. Yes. Also, Bertha's Soul Food, the best soul food in Baltimore. Ooh. I found ooh, out. Ooh. Like Teresa Davis, thank you for yes, that. Yes. Shout out um, to Teresa Davis, serve, director. Teresa yes. Davis. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, they're still open. You can't sit in the inside, but their daggone food, y'all, is so bomb. Mac and cheese, fish. Everything. So just uh, follow them on Instagram yes. at Bertha's Soul Food. Food, bar and grill and you can visit their website at www.berthasoulfood.com yep yep all right um we're going to do some recapping of 2020 instead of doing our news go ahead okay go ahead i, I was going to shout out in a minute cafe go ahead they just so good they are so I, good shout out list, to them but if you are in a local area if you want that same uh Good food, soul food, uh, with a twist to it. Go to In a Minute Cafe. Look it up. It's in uh, Ford. What's that? What's that? Capital, Capital Heights. Heights. Uh, in a Minute Cafe. The great shout out, Mighty Mouse. Great, great, great food. Yes, he oh, he be over there sometimes. Yeah, me too. All right, so baby, we're gonna go through the highs and lows of What's 2020. Up, Highs um, and lows. Okay, recap. so let me ask we you We got guys. some talking we points it. here. Right, we made it. Right. Yeah, we made it. So we're going to talk about some of the things that we struggle with getting through 2020, some of the things that may have affected you the most. Everybody has been affected, we know. 
So we just want to talk about some of the things that we uh, <clears throat> had to grapple with during 2020 and some of the things that we want to leave in 2020 and come forward with a fresh, clean slate and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, some of the highs, I, I'll, I'll start this off. Um, working from home, I know, has been a high for a That's lot a high of people. For you? And for me, that was a high high, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, high high. yes, I, I, I have been high. commuting back and forth into either D.C. or Northern Virginia for years, y'all. The roads and messing up the cars and all that kind of stuff. But now I'm able to work from home, spend more time with my husband, get some more things done around the house, use my creativity a little bit more. So working from home has really, really been an advantage for me. So I was glad when they said stay home. And I hope it stays like that for a very, very long time. Um, you know, but it, it took some adjusting. We had to start doing Zooms. I, I don't know who owns Zoom, but whoever it is, they got some damn money. You yeah, whoever got there. stock in Zoom, y'all winning right now yep. because we've had the transition. You know, I'm used to going into the office every day, putting on cute clothes. Now I look like a home homeless person sometimes. I really do. I, I got on leggings pretty much yeah, every day. I'm going to talk to you about that too, the homeless thing that you got going on. I'm going to talk to you. We'll talk about it later. I want you to don't look homeless though at, at the house. I want you to do something. You don't have to, you, yeah, did you had to that. tell me. Oh, because you brought up homeless. I just thought you was, okay. So, so yeah. anyway. Um, no, listen, listen. It, it's been an adjustment, right? Let, had, let me, let me, let me, before we go any further, because okay. I got people. I want you to got, okay. Oh, do do your thing. I want to interact with the people. Do your What's thing. up y'all? So Rita, we see you. Felicia, we see you. Uh, Leah. What's up, Leah? <laughs> Leah says she loves it. I want to ask y'all something. What's up, Meek? What's going on, Mike? What's up, Mike West Point? I remember you, Holmes. Yes, uh, we Dreams, do. yeah, for sure. Sean Jackson, yep, yep. Um, somebody said Mary J. Blige. That was you? No, that wasn't Mary J. Blige. That was Well, you know, Sean. she might have remade that song. Sweet thing. She said sweet thing. That's true. Sean wins every week. She's disqualified. Sean got Shazam. <laughs> okay. Meek Woods. What's going on? Felicia? Yep, yep. Um, I didn't hear nobody guess my song yet, so I will tell you the song at the end. But I just wanted we'll to make tell sure you at the end. that I was shouting everybody out. And shout out to everybody on IG as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. And let me know some of the things that you guys have suffered. Yeah, uh, let us know. And, and type it in here so I can read some the Some of comments. your highs. And lows Some of your highs and lows of 2020. Some people prospered during 2020 more than ever. Some people failed low more than ever. Some people met in the middle in the whole nine. So I'm going to ask, you know, yeah, um, how, how, how did you guys fail? Like, what did you think of 2020? Me personally, um, because I'm a more of a social distancer person <laughs> anyway, I don't do a whole bunch of I only come out for, you know, when I have to spotlight over the city, this and that. For the most part, I'm a person who kind of stay to myself. So it wasn't like a big deal for that part, you know, but I didn't like the things that was being shut down and you can't sit in restaurants and blah, blah, blah. But the hardest thing for me was the interaction of people that I love, not, not being able to come and dap people up and hug people up and show love to people that I love. So that was kind of tough for me, and that's the part that I hate the most. Um, the great side for me was being able to be creative. I've created some shows. I've created, uh, I've finished my movie script. Yes, you I've, did. I'm um, so proud. I finished that. We're on the way to shooting. It's movie time, y'all. movie. Shout out Hall Mills and everybody in Jersey. That, that gang gang up there in Jersey, too. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting ready to shoot a couple of other things, too. I got a, a comedy that I wrote. I got some uh, a documentary that I'm wrapping up. Yes. So I've been working while I've been in the house. So I really didn't miss um, some of the things that I was being distracted by, me personally. And I want to stamp that, you know, like I, I, I realized that we were forced to be in the house more. So, you know, I was able to f finally like clean house. Like I'm not domesticated at all. Right. But I was able to well, do some things. That, though. Yeah, I, you know, you know I was able to get some things done and, um, you know, help help stand with some of the creativity he needed from, you know, like another person to bounce off of because he did finish a lot of his projects. And I'm really super proud of you for that. And, may, and it may have taken something like this to just buckle down and it really did. focus so, on that yeah, kind of did. stuff. So that's why I say that was a great thing for me because I was so busy being distracted. My, not necessarily busy, just sometimes we get busy with things we don't need to be busy with. Like sometimes we just occupy things because people pull on us. You want to go here. Let's do this. Let's go here. And you go and you do when you're supposed to be at home writing. And so now I was locked and loaded, couldn't go nowhere, and I, and I benefited. So now I'm getting ready to put some things on big screens and I got some things that's great to go live streaming with Netflix and this and that. Actually, I'm in a movie now. Two movies on Netflix as well. Uh, it's on Amazon it's on Prime. Something. What is on? Amazon Prime. Uh, Amazon recognized. Prime. Recognized. Check my husband out, y'all. Uh, OG out Roy. My, shout out to the homie T Miles too. That's the South Side uh, down in Amazon Atlanta. Prime. Y'all can movie. watch it. And I'm in another movie coming up. I don't even know the name. Don't ask nothing about it. But it's coming up in a minute. That's what I do know. So okay, I'm, then. Hey, shout out to T Miles. Yes. And um, shout out to my homeboy that's gonna play me in the movie too as well. Trey. Um, Trey uh, Cheney. I don't know if you guys remember him from the wire uh shout out to him as well 
uh, for just being a homie and, and coming through and rocking with me. Absolutely. So, so yeah, those were, we had some great, honestly, you all, I, you know, I, I have been really super blessed. Thank, thank you God that I didn't miss a paycheck. Like some, you know, like when I mean, so I'm so yeah. grateful that my job allowed me to continue working it out from home. Yeah. I had to make some adjustments and get my office set up at home, but I'm just grateful that, you know, God continued to sustain me and my daughters. They didn't lose their jobs. And, you mm -hmm. know, so it's been okay for, for us and I've been just shooting out my prayers to everyone else that it didn't turn out so okay with you know so yeah. we can all pull together um, a lot of people ask um, how did we sustain a show you know, we used to have people more so on this platform all the time. We're getting, yeah, we had something. We're getting a little bit of that yeah. back, but we, we adjusted. And everybody in here, we just kept it popping on Zoom. And we so just that's kept why it I going. shout out to UBM because they all, we all pulled together, yep. um, set up the Zoom, started Zooming the shows, and yep. never missed a beat. <laughs> never we missed never a missed beat. a show yep. um, doing none of this. And actually, the studio got built out. Um, yep. Our home got rehabbed. Um, everything, uh, God is good. And so... It just depends, you know, like everybody didn't have my fortune. And so for those people who are suffering, some people don't have a meal. Some people lost their job. Some people had two incomes, lost both of them. Um, all of these things A lot are of people are getting divorced too A lot of yeah. people have realized that being in the house together You don't like each other as much as you thought you did And it exposed a lot of things Because now you're stuck at home with this person Fortunately for me and Stan That's not the situation But I won't lie We, had, we were exposed too Because we, we realized that they were Staying in the house together a lot Created some tension So we don't be fake with y'all You know we had to go There were times when we would be coming here And we'd be like We beefing. going We going to do the show We beefing When we yeah. Come here. Going, going in, though, all the yeah. way to the studio. All the and way. So, and so what you do, though, and so what I'm learning is in the trenches is where character is built. Yes, indeed. Right? So that's where you know where you built that is when you go through stuff. That's yeah. when you know if you're tough or you're a chump. That's, that's right. That's when you know what I call a chump or a champ. Yeah. And so um, it's time to be a champ when it gets tough. And then you learn about each other. Like, you're supposed to learn your mate. And so in the trenches, you get closer, and then you learn. You learn some things you don't like. And you learn some things you do like. And you learn where to compartmentalize those things. You deal with them accordingly. But, you know, it, it shouldn't break you if you already was good. Right. If you was already good. Exactly. Now, if you wasn't good, that's different. That's, that's, that's going to break you. Because yeah. you don't have anywhere to run. You can't go see your side chick, your side dude. You can't go and uh, do all these outlets at the club. You can't pop no bottles. You can't go floss your whip. None of it is dead. And so, you know, you have to be true to that situation or not. And a lot yeah. of people falling out. So I want so to ask a question. Go ahead. People, I see some people on here. I don't want to leave the people out. Don't leave them um, out. But we'll recap. The, we'll, we'll end this by saying, what is the one thing you missed? You know, like what was taken away from you in 2020 that you just be like, dag, if I could have one thing back that we used to have, what is that one thing for yeah. me? Tell me y'all highs I want to be able to go to the go-go. Period. I want to be able to go and <laughs> drop it and work well, wait, the Wait, you wasn't even going to the go-go. I used to cook. We used to cook go like every now and then. No, you and I, would, we wanted to go. We would go. And now I can't. And I miss that. But so other, your, anything else, your, okay. I don't care about nothing else. So what about the, inter, you're not an interacting person. No, I don't so want to So what about interact. interacting? Nope. You guys miss interacting I with your don't. friends. I don't and want to. Family and people pulling up on you and you pulling up on them and. Yes, I'm that was good. wrong with her. She cooking and cool. getting a dog of fat and all. I'm like, Terry, nah. Like, so you yeah. can't go running, can't go to the gyms. Gyms are closed. So this I don't is, care about none of so that. So speaking of this, before I go any further, God put this on my heart. I got to always keep this platform open to do what I'm supposed to do. So health, not just mental health, health. No one's telling you to build your immune. No one's telling you to do things to keep yourself up and away from this goofball virus. So I'm going to let you know something that's not good for us as black people or brown people. Vitamin D deficiency. You said it's not good, it's, but it is good. You do not want to be deficient of right. vitamin D. Okay. It's a long story. I can't get into it. We don't have the time. Just trust me. Go If you, if you are being tested at the hospitals and this and that, they may tell you you're di vitamin D deficient. Go to the herbal store because the sun is not as, you know, you're not in the sun as much. Get what we call D3. It's, it's, a, it's a D3 supplement. And what it does is it'll give you the supplement for uh, the sunlight. Not directly. It's not going to give you all of it. But it'll help you so you won't be deficient. You don't want to be deficient because things will attach to you that you don't want. This virus is something that you can fight on your own. You can fight this virus. You don't have to go to the hospital. You don't have to be sick. None of that. One percent of the people are, are failing at this disease. You don't have to be one of 99 percent. And you don't have to get that vaccine, y'all. Please. I'm just I'm just telling you to be smart. Just just think a little bit without the fear involved. Use your brain 
And don't run and, and, and out of fear do things that you should not do. If you get that vaccine, I don't think you're going to be happy. I'm just, that's my opinion. Okay. Well, um, y'all keep the comments coming in. We will um, tell you the names of the songs and all of that after the first commercial break. But we got to do question of the week. Question it's a, of the it's week. A, it's a, it's a, a long one, so I got to get to it. Oh, uh, Spotlight Shining we, Star. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I saw Shout out to Amber. Shout out to Amber. So she yeah. keeps us straight and makes sure that we don't go to the left because sometimes we just veer off. So Spotlight Shining Star is my favorite segment, one of them. And um, it's actually, where is it? Where is it my show? So Spotlight Shining Star is something that I really, really love, you guys, and it's dear to my heart because it's the segment where you tell, you tell who does something great in the community, big, small, rich, poor, doesn't really matter. In this case, um, this one is something that I really had to... Uh, call the producer and let her know this. I had to have this. I was like, this is, this is great. So, um, was Dr. Omar a I, I wanted to say the name right. <laughs> 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 Dr. Omar Atik. Atik? Did Atik. I say that right? So, do you know who this is? Um, you're gonna tell me who it you is. Don't Amber, do you know who this is? Who is Dr. Omar? Talk to me. Omar Atik. Um, he ran the Arkansas Cancer Center for over 20 years and recently announced that he'll be closing his doors. And as a holiday gift for his patients, he decided to forgive their debt, which of equated to four six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. I said four hundred. So, wow. so this doctor, let me give you the. It's in Arkansas, right? This doctor is a cancer treat treatment center. He owns the center. Um, this doctor decided after years and years of practice. I'm on five or six after years and years of practice, that he would uh, close the doors, unfortunately, but he realized that sick people had already had uh, a defeated mentality, had things they was dealing with. So he said, you know what I'll do? Before I leave this job, I'm gonna forgive $650,000 in debt for the patients that owe me for the treatment, and I'll forgive it, and I'm gone. Love so it. for him, that's a spotlight shining star <laughs> all day, every day. So was the uh, guy that was up on the west side letting everybody in his house. I can't remember his name. Um, but he let a lot of uh, people that was being threatened during this Black Lives Matter uh, movement. I remember that. I his forgot home. his name. And um, it was about 70, 80 people that he let into his home, maybe 100. So also, he is another spotlight, spotlight shining star. But this, this particular day, this young man did something so amazing. You never hear these things anymore these days. So. Uh, shout, shout out to, out you, to you, Dr. Doc. Omar Atik. Shout out to you, Doc. For being such an amazing doctor and doing some amazing things for your community. That's what we're about. That's Spotlight right. I love it. Spotlight shining star. Thank you for that, honey. Question of the week. Um, <clears throat> so from a female. My husband. For, uh, let me just tell you all. Yeah, what is that? Question of the week. We do a segment that we allow our viewers and listeners to send us questions, whatever questions you want about your relationship or about ours. And so we answer your questions live on the air. We just don't say your names. And sometimes you all ask questions about our own personal relationship. Sometimes you ask us for advice about yours. And this time it's a young lady asking us for advice. My husband went to prison eight years ago. I initially thought I could wait for him, but after the first five years of him fighting his case and nothing happened, I gave up. I started developing feelings for my husband's childhood best friend. When my husband first went away, his best friend would always make sure that my daughter and I were okay. His best friend looked out for us. Um, and, but then after the five years went by, he and I started looking at each other differently and we started dating and we ended up falling in love. Fast forward to now, his best friend and I are engaged. When I told my husband, I went and visited him and I told him that I wanted a divorce to move on with my life and I revealed that my fiance is his childhood best friend, he got very upset. Should he expect me to wait for him forever though? Why not want me to be with a man that he already knows and respects instead of a strange man? I don't know when or if my husband will ever get his case overturned. He should want me to be happy, but he doesn't want me to ever even visit him anymore. He told <laughs> me that my he told me our daughter can visit him when she gets older. I don't know what to do. So ah. the, well, well the first the first I'm gonna let you go first, but this this one so y'all ready for this? this are y'all you can't you gotta ah. brace brace yourself. So first of all, Aww. she said I wanted, I wanted to be with somebody, so why not be with somebody that you know? Why, not, why wouldn't her husband want her to be with someone that she's already familiar with? Right, someone so he go trusts. ahead and sleep with my uncle, why don't you? <laughs> what the hell? My big cousin, the big, my big uncle, or my cousin, or you know, my granddaddy, why don't you? What the hell? I know, we all good. 
So, no, lady, no. So, let, let me just help you. Let okay, me, help her. Let me help this lady out. Okay, um, help her, baby. I hear what you're saying. A lot of people, I've been in this position. Which one, Cameron? Where, where am I? It oh. don't matter. Just so, me. I've been in this position before. You have? Yes. I was facing 10 years mandatory sentencing in prison. Um, don't ask me why. Um, some things allegedly happened, and I was facing 10 years mandatory sentencing. And so, I was dating a young lady that I didn't trust while I was free. And so I said, I'm going to uh, con cancel your contract before I go to prison because I can't worry about you while I'm in jail. I, I can't trust you as far as I can throw you. So I might as well quit you now. So I quit her. And I, and I didn't get to go to jail, so I was good. But I'm saying that to say <laughs> every, everybody is not me. So everybody's not going to have that take. Some people want to take you to jail with them. Like, they, they want to marry you. They ain't want to marry you 10 years, but now they want to get married, and they, I'm going to do this five, but I love you, and this and that. Well, this person was already married. They already had a situation. Um, you, you violate when you mess with a person's best friend, A. Um, you broke the bro code when you did it, uh, sir. Um, you knew he was vulnerable because he's in prison. So she's crying on your shoulder. When she tried to holler at you, you're supposed to say, no, I can't do that. I can console you and all that, but we can't hunt, and I can't marry you. But, cause that's, I that's, agree. That's the bro. So, you know, out of respect for bro, I can't do that. You know, that's you crossing the line. So I can't put myself in that position. Who's more at fault, the best um, friend or the wife? Both of them at fault. Both of them at fault, but the wife is definitely in violation. You're okay. in violation because, A, you're the married person. Um, B, you're married to my best damn friend. You're you in prison facing a life sentence, though. You may never Divorce get out. Divorce me. Divorce me right now. She went there and said, I want a divorce. Yeah, not, not why you humping my friend. Do that prior to. Prior to. Don't hump him, then want the damn divorce. Because he helping you want a divorce. He the reason you don't want me now. Because you don't care if I'm coming home no more. You all uh, uh, digmatized. Did I say that? Did, did I say digmatized? You did so, say that. So because of that, you don't even know if I'm coming home or not, and you don't care. But you was busting a bag down with me, and you was getting a free whip, and I was buying you jewels and taking you all over the world. And now all of a sudden I'm ching ching and my homie can do that and I can't. So you're going to rock with the homie? Just let him pay your rent. Just let him pay your rent and, and bring, let him come bring you to me. That's it. He okay. don't need to do nothing else. So I, I don't really have anything different to say. I, I, you know, if, if, if you ever went away, I'm waiting for you. But see, that's the I'm difference just gonna between wait. me I'm, and the average I'm joke. I'm waiting. If I get a long time sentence, I wouldn't allow you to want to wait you for me. You can't tell me what I'm going to say, listen, put some money on the books and just have my back while I'm doing this time. Go get you a life. I'm not. Because I can't get no life now. I got to do this 20. You don't wait for me. I'm in here. I, I'm going to be in here. Wait, 20? I'm in here. 20? I'm I, damn. I, I'm in I, here. I said 10. I'm, I could do. Okay. You just torn 20. Okay. Five okay. and under, wait for me. Ten or better, ten, I'm out of here. Ten and under. Ten or better, I got the rock now. Go ahead and leave me alone now. Ten and under, I can do. Because see, ten and better. See, because you're going to get to the eighth year, and you're going to get that let thing going to get the something. tingling, and, I, and then you're going to get to letting no, somebody tap it, no. and then I'm going to say, you should have divorced no. me, so I wouldn't go through this. I can tell I told you, you was going to get tingly. you in front of everybody that I can do ten. I can serve ten with you, because at this point in my life, I have had enough penis. Am I not? I mean, you know we what I mean? We had to have phone sex. I've, you think yeah, they let me I'm do that saying, person? I have had I give me a, a, a sneaker jacket in. Listen, I have had enough of that where I'm good for 10 years and wait for who I know I want. Period. I mean that. He might be a whole different man when he comes out. I love you. So so at the end of the day, baby, I respect you so you know what? And I believe that too. I would wait 10 I believe years. you every word that you just told me. 10, not um, eleven. I said I, 10. It's, it's so I wouldn't be that selfish, is my whole thing. <laughs> I think that's a <laughs> I think that's a selfish act that a man going to prison to ask a woman to wait for him 15, 20 years and all that. I think that you're just a selfish individual and you just don't want nobody to bang your girl while you're gone. Yeah. And I think that's selfish because as a grown woman, she's going to want and need things that you can't supply. And you put yourself in a trick bag so yeah. you got to eat that. Yeah. You, she didn't put you in jail. Now, if she called the police and you had 10 bricks and you went to jail, damn that. You better wait because you got me in here. But if you ain't got nothing to do with me going to jail, you don't owe me that part. You just yeah. go to hold me down and make sure you don't, you know, treat me. Well, better. listen, y'all keep the questions coming in. We love question of the week. As you can see, we get real intense and we try to give you some good advice. But, um, yes, keep the questions coming in. So I'm going to ask the audience real quick. Do you agree or disagree? Would you wait, not wait? What you think, homie? You go to prison, God forbid. You got to do a 10-year bid. No, he was facing yeah. life. She just said he was no, facing life. Years. Nope. She said he's been in for 10 years because she don't know when he's going to get out. Oh, she should have divorced him when he got that ticket. <laughs> Yeah, he got that's he it's over. He did. So he yeah, I mean so 
I say 10 or, 10 or less. Okay. I didn't say a lifetime. Yeah. Lifetime, you probably going to be there. So... Yeah, you, you. yeah, well, we got to get ready to wrap it up. Amber's giving us the evil oh, eye. Yeah. We've got some guests waiting. Yes, we we've do. Got some gr- we got some grub. How about that? We got grub. It ain't this grub. grub. It's grub. Rockstar <laughs> type grub. It's a different type of grub. So we'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, we got our- the uh, CEO and head chef, Henry Tucker, Tony Lamar, who is the CFO and assistant chef, waiting for us in the studio, y'all, coming up after the next commercial break. Yeah, black on, too, y'all. Spotlight over the city. We'll be right back. Man, welcome back to Spotlight over the city. Guess what, y'all? We got us some company, but it ain't no regular company. They bought some grub. I'm like, rock star type of grub. So before we go any further, I'm going to let these gentlemen about- introduce themselves. I'm going to pass this mic real quick. I want you guys to look into one of these cameras as soon as they tell me. And we're going to, yep, six, six right here in front of you. And you tell them what your name is and what you do. Well, I'm Henry Tucker. I'm head chef and CEO of Grub Rockstar Catering. All right, and I'm Tony Lamar, and I'm assistant chef, CFO of Grub Rockstar Catering. That's what's All up. right. <laughs> so let me ask you something, because before we get started, you guys have prepared a meal. You have some lamb chops. I see some uh, mac and cheese. Broccolini. Broccolini. Or oh, broccoli. And, and what we have? Salmon. Salmon. Yep. And one Kale. more thing. Corn kale corn. salad. It's a cold corn kale salad. It's a favorite of ours that we serve. It's got corn, roasted red peppers, red onions, and sauteed kale. In. Yes. Okay. So we uh, have already experienced the food before. Yes, so we we've had y'all. Spoons. Letting you guys know that it's a wonderful experience. So um, before we go any further, you guys want to talk a little bit about how your journey look and how you guys got to be yeah, tell people uh, about that. Grub, grub rock stars. Well, we uh, first and foremost, we uh, started, we've been knowing each other for almost 37 years, uh, childhood friends. Uh, wow. Uh, and been in touch with each other the entire time as friends. Ups and downs, through the valley, behind the bus, behind the barn, whatever. We didn't been through it all. We didn't did it all, you know, uh, and still continue to be, you know, genuine friends through it all. So we decided to just, you know, do something different out of the box. And uh, this gentleman here uh, always was, you know, a chef and cooking and uh, pretty much experiencing different kinds of meals and recipes and stuff and things of that nature. And I always used to like to cook at home. So we decided to do something different and, you know, start our own business and uh, present some good food, some good tasting food to the DMV. I could just add, we, we started out as a uh, sauce company. We were making our own barbecue sauces, mumbo sauces. We still do it, hot sauce. We got an all-purpose seasoning blend. Uh, then, like a year or so afterwards, we decided to incorporate catering. And right now, catering is our bread and butter. So um, we've just been blessed and happy to serve the people, you know. And it's been growing. And we're just excited that we're still here in 2021. I have a question. Sure. Um, a lot of when we told people that you all were coming on the show, um, a few questions came, and one of them I wanted to read over the air is, "How has COVID and the pandemic made you shift or adjust your business?" Well, it, it's it's been a trying time for you know a lot of companies that we know that we've uh, been involved with in ter- terms of friendships, in terms of people who do the same things we do, you know, wasn't able to sustain this, and uh, by the grace uh, you know of our higher power, we've been able to sustain this and get through it. Uh, it has been some shifts uh, with different you know commercial kitchens that we've had to deal with and go through, and you know pretty much change, uh, but. For the most part, uh, because of who we have partnered with in terms of other companies we've partnered with, we've been able to still 
feed a lot of different heavy hitter companies in terms of government companies and stuff like that. We deal with the Pentagon, the National Guard. We deal with uh, Department of Health headquarters and uh, a lot of different companies that we're still dealing with to this day. So we were able to do that with, you know, being an essential worker, essential company, essential cating, we were able to deal with the Department of Homeland Security, Department of Health, that kept us afloat during the COVID. So I thank God for all of that. And uh, we're still here, and we're still here, and we will not be defeated. That's so. When I heard you say God, I knew you weren't gonna be defeated. So I had already talked to you guys before we came down. Remember, we came down to the van. I remember that. Of so this was a while ago. Um, I saw you guys drive in. I saw how you guys were very ambitious. I saw that you wasn't gonna quit. And this was kind of like right before COVID kind of really kicked all the way into yeah. gear. And so um, I noticed that a lot of people had to go strictly into uh, either the catering type of business or uh, just strictly uh, carry, carry out, out delivery, yeah. type of delivery business. So you guys are also delivery business as well, like doing delivery? Yes. Yes, we are. We, we also do carry out delivery. Uh, thank, you know, some of these commercial kitchens that we're in. We're right now in Tastemakers, D.C. They allow you to cook food and have people come online. Rockstarsauce.com. Yes. Um, Rockstarsauce.com. Absolutely. And order food and you're e either able to pick it up or we're able to deliver it for you. We also transition to meal prep, you know, because yes, of this time. Yes, meal preps, y'all. Absolutely. That's a good idea. A good idea. Yes. You, you, like pre prepack, prepackaged meals for a certain amount of days out. Absolutely. And it looks like right now it's picking up because of COVID. People can't go to restaurants and dine like they want to. And, you know, a lot of people may have older people who don't, ha uh, you know, no longer cook or don't have the ability to cook. So, you know, we focus on the, that type of crowd. So it's been very helpful around this time. Yep. Okay, Amber just we go said they further. have mics. Why are we giving them our mics? Oh, <laughs> they got mics. They mic'd up already. Okay, so I'll produce. <laughs> Duh. I'll produce I, that's, we got the, shout out to Amber. We got the best producer in the world. So she was looking at me cross-eyed. I didn't know what was going on. That's why so I, I didn't know what was going. On. I know I smell like liquor. I thought she was saying I stink. So okay. and I forgot to put on deodorant. Okay, so we both stinking. <laughs> So we both a little smelly, so don't let us get close to your food right now. But in the mean, Shoot, but in, I'm about to know, get we, close up on this. Because uh, uh, that's uh, a lobster on top of that macaroni yeah, and cheese. Yeah, lobster macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Look at okay, God. What? So you say this house? Personally? This yes. is, oh, he has yeah. a mic. <laughs> so they do have lapel mics. Yeah, yeah. you do, guys. So anything you want to shoot past these guys uh, as far as the journey? Book. Like, how did you guys, I know you guys childhood friends. Mm -hmm. So he was the chef. Yeah. And you was sort of uh, the chef in-house, like kitchen chef in your house. Absolutely. Absolutely. And cooking for the family. Chef. Mm -hmm. cooking, yeah, cooking for the family and yeah. everything. And we decided, I mean, I always could cook too. I mean, you know, I'm a little exactly. older than him, but he's always been doing what he's been doing. His brother cooks, his grandfather, so you everything. Just, so you're just chefing it up. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you as far as, because uh, we had another chef come to our home. Mm -hmm. And just do a special event at home, right? Oh, absolutely. Put a package together. Could you all together. do something Is like that? Is that something you guys also do as well? Well, that's that's funny that you spoke of that because we are actually getting ready to start a uh, private dinner for Valentine's Day for couples. Uh, so we'll be putting together. You get a bottle of champagne with that, and and you get a menu that you'll be able to pick uh, pick out and. Uh, Put together and we bring it there, set it up, set it up real nicely. Candles, flowers, roses. That's sexy. Uh, so it yeah, was going to absolutely that? be so sexy. Fellas, yeah. If you want to, hey, they just helped you out, fellas. Yes. You don't have to do anything but call these gentlemen up. They're going to come bring you the meal prepared. Yep. You can fake like you cooked it and absolutely. everything. Like when they leave, just put your little <laughs> thing on there. That's what I would have did. And act like it's all me and put the roses and da 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 da, da and you got it. So that's mm. a great idea. What else one you got? more thing, if I, if I may, Stan. Yeah, yeah sure. Terry. Take your time. Do it. Uh, I definitely want to put this out there. Next Friday, rockstarsauce.com, ladies and gentlemen. Next Friday, we're going to be starting our seafood menu that can be delivered to you or you can come and pick up. So we're going to be doing Seafood Friday. Oh. Seafood oh, yeah. Friday. Oh, yeah. It's so did be you guys awesome. hear that Seafood yeah, Friday? It's be awesome. <laughs> right. I'm already interested because, look, we do Monday through Friday seafood. So we can just get it on Fridays and come through. So what, what we got to do, man? Uh, well, you can either get it delivered or you can come down to the Tastemakers and pick it up. So whatever is easier or convenient for you. And Tastemakers. Order, order at rockstarsauce.com. Yeah. Yep. Rockstarsauce.com. Rockstar well, wait a minute. Absolutely. Tastemakers. Tell me a little bit about that before we wrap it up. That's where they we got, we cooking it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's like a community kitchen. Uh, a lot of other companies work out of there as well. It's almost... Like a gym. Like a say. family for chefs. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. a community. Okay. I love it. Yep. So, you know, we share the kitchen with 
food truck companies, uh, other head, uh, chefs who have their own companies. Beautiful um, idea. I like that. It is. It's a very beautiful thing. We've been. This is our third kitchen within the, uh, the district. Uh, so yeah, we we've been around to different kitchens, but we we love tastemakers. They welcome welcome us with open arms. And, um, you know, that's where the pickup is. Like he said, next Friday. This okay, y'all, next idea. Friday. Friday. Next Friday. What y'all is it called that? again? Let them know. Gr Seafood Fridays. Seafood Fridays. And you can order at rockstarsauce.com all the way up until Thursday at pickup or delivery on Friday. Rock all the way up until Thursday. So don't call them yo. Friday morning mm -hmm. tomorrow. Don't. Bruh. Mm -hmm. I'm a bruh. No, no. <laughs> Thursday is the cut off. Yes. They will cut you off. Absolutely. So Thursday, get your meal before Thursday. Make sure you get your, your situation together with these guys. Wonderful situation. You Let them know how they miss. can follow you all. Yeah, definitely all give your information. information. We're we going to be able to eat this, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, let okay. them know. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. We done. We finished. Let them know hey, where they can we follow you. We got lamb chops. Let them know where they can follow you guys and make sure anything else coming up in the future you, you plug it. Uh, I am at Grub Chef on Instagram. Uh, we are Grub Rockstar Catering on Facebook as well, and on Twitter we are Grub Rub Fifteen. And on, you said Instagram, and on Facebook, also Grub Rockstar. Yes. Grub absolutely. Rockstar. And I've seen y'all doing meals for Mega Mind Media, too. Oh, My yeah. girl, oh, Tressa. Hey, Tressa. Absolutely. Tressa. We just did two <laughs> movies for them, and uh, we're looking forward to doing a couple of more that they have coming up yeah. this year. She's very, very busy. Uh, yes, uh, indeed. Very Shout close friend of ours. This, Mega this, Mind Media. That whole yes, Mega yes. Mind Media camp, those, those, are they, those people the are there doing some amazing things. We love y'all. We love you guys, and yeah. we appreciate yeah. you guys. Mm -hmm. And so you guys cover some of their movie sets. Absolutely. We just did this the last movie set. Rich Christmas. Yes, uh, with, with uh, Bill Bellamy. Bill Bellamy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Country Wayne. No, Country, Country Wayne was with yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, yeah, the other one. The one before. Oh, we did that oh, yeah. one too with uh, Michael Collier. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, yeah. And we did that one as well. Uh, but they, uh, we're close friends with them. So we, yeah. you know, they definitely look gang, out for Gang, gang. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Believe that. So that right, means you in company with good people. Those yes. are great people. You guys are great people. So mm -hmm. I hope that God, no, let's not hope. I decree and declare God is going to bless this situation so tremendously this year that it's going to touch so many people and you'll be able to give out Thousands and thousands of dollars That's worth right. of food to Absolutely. the people who are in need because we are a lot of people are in need these days. So. And I'm in need tonight. So <laughs> thank you. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So much. Guys. Appreciate you guys. Get it going. Right, so make you. sure you you uh, follow these guys. Um, so what we got? Make sure you, you guys. Oh. Yeah, make sure you guys are following these guys. Make sure you stay locked and loaded. They doing meal prep now, so you can get you a yes, y'all. How, how how does that work before you go? Is it three days, seven day meal prep? How uh, we ask that one uh, customer order a minimum of three meals. Okay. Three, meals. Uh, three or more. Three. Okay. Or more. Okay, yeah, I got you. I so three, three minimum meals for your meal prep. So three days all the way to Wednesday for Monday. You good money. You Absolutely. see that? And then you can call them right back and go Monday. To see, look, look at that. I got you. All right. So make sure you uh, check them out. And we got to get out of here and wrap it up because we got our next guest. But we thank yes. you guys. No we want to say thank you. you. God bless you guys. You get, keep doing a wonderful job. You guys are amazing. Thank you, brother. All right. Okay. All right. Next well, up, we, we, gotta yeah, go. we, we got to go. We got a next guest. We got a com uh, commercial break coming up because we got but several man, more guests lined up. I wish the camera could come right up into here. They told me she for the so anyway, we'll be right back right after this commercial break. Spotlight over the city.
just chilling. Came down here to make myself a couple sandwiches, and I noticed you had this, this shea butter on the counter, like, whoa. So I thought I could borrow a couple of them, man, because my little honey, she been ashy lately. But she was on the stand right now, bro. <laughs> and that's a little personal. But since you asked, I've been using that hotel lotion. And you know, like, after I put it on, after like five minutes, it's just like she right back ass you again. Yeah, bro, man, that hotel lotion is no good. You need, she needs shea butter like whoa. That'll keep her moisturized all day long. Shea butter like whoa. All right, can I borrow some? Yeah, bro, man, I think she'll really love it. So this one, this one's on me. Appreciate that. And bro, man, don't put it on your sandwich. Nah, but uh, I'm sure we're gonna butter her buns. <laughs> This is it, this is it Now it's time to get rich Moolah, moolah, cha-ching, guap, guap Gula, gang, gang, what it do now Shout out to my shooters Moolah, moolah, cha-ching, guap, guap Gula, this is it, this is it Now it's time to get rich I mean big money business, big money business, talking big money fishing, big money living. Mula mula, cha ching, guap guap, gula gang gang, what it do now? Shout out to my shooter, this is it, this is it. Now it's time to get rich. I've been stacking and I love it when it's all piled Nothing to it lost now, I done learned to compound All in the year's time, I done kept a clear mind No bot mind, forward only year mind Your only guarantee is the cash that we ain't never had shit Now we ballin' like we got our taxes Third time's the charm, now that's a hat trick I'm on the corner intercepting all they pass it Quick flips, take it back home, pick six So patriotic, man they thought I Enlisted. So many wanna see me fail, see it in the face, ain't hard to tell Though I'm moving state to state on big wheels, no CDL When I left the country, the love was enormous First go around, I really couldn't afford much The blessings came poured up like the rain down in Florida Burning through the pounds, blowing euros and Europe Gone I told my niggas this is it, this is it Now it's time to get rich Moolah moolah, cha-ching, guap guap Gula gang gang, what it do now? Shout out to my shooter Moolah moolah, cha-ching, guap guap Gula this is it, this is it Now it's time to get rich I mean big money business Big money business Talking big money fishing Big money living Moolah moolah, cha-ching, guap guap Gula gang gang, what it do now? Shout out to my shooter, this is it, this is it Now it's time to get rich I'm talking big money, visions. Mula mula. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, man. And we had a great time with that food, though. Y'all better know what it is, man. Grub rock stars in the Amazing. building. Amazing. So um, we got our next guest. Yes. Uh, so why I'm excited gonna... about this young lady. Like what? What I... you excited about? Because I love young black 
uh, girls and boys, women and men, young, black, and powerful, and just like they just be knowing what they want and they go for it. And this Do young it, lady right? has been that, right? And so I have been really um, trying to get her on the show, and I'm so glad that she's finally been able to join us. We've got Leslie Redman in, in the, the building. Let's give it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> So much for having me. Oh my god. Thank gosh. you for being a part of Spotlight Over the City. Yes. Welcome aboard. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How you doing? I am blessed. You know, it's a lot of craziness going on in the world, but this too shall pass. So yep, I'm yep. blessed. This yeah. too shall pass. Now, you know, for those of you all who don't know, um, Leslie is a racial justice discussion. Well, she's like a racial injustice advocate. Um, you are a former president of NCAA, the chapter up there in uh, Minnesota. Is that right? Yes, I was the president for the Minneapolis NAACP. Yep, yep, yep. And you have got something new going on that I don't want to bust. I don't want to spoil it. I want you to tell about it because it is a movement girl. And I want you to talk a little bit about that. And then we'll, we'll take it back a little bit. And I'll ask you some of the questions that came in from some of our uh, followers. Thank you so much. So I am the founder and CEO of Don't Complain, Activate. And the idea is that you don't have to be President Barack Obama or Beyonce in order to activate your community, right? It's everyday people that are changing the world, whether you're a mom or a dad, an artist, entrepreneur, entertainer, activist, and attorney such as myself. There are so many ways to activate the community. So we have a clothing line, which you see me wearing my hat, Don't Complain, Activate. We have shirts, we have hoodies, we have masks. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. Don't complain, activate. I love it. Tell us a little bit about like, okay, how, how did it come about? Like what made you say, this is what it's going to be called. Don't complain, activate. Like take me through that process. Yeah. So, you know, I'm from DC, born and raised. I'm whoop, super whoop. happy to be here with y'all today. That's what's and up. My friend, the big mom, one of her favorite songs was I won't complain. Right. And I wasn't really intentionally thinking about that, but I think that that definitely played a huge role. I came up with Don't Complain Activate in 2016, um, going into 2017, around the time of President Trump inauguration, uh, and really seeing a lot of the sadness on social media and how people were really feeling defeated. And for me, I saw so many everyday people who were doing the work, and I believe that's where it mattered the most. And so Dr. Betty Shabazz, the wife of Malcolm X, she once said, find the good and praise it. And so that's what it was all about, finding the good and praise it. And don't complain after this. It's about highlighting the activators in the community and recognizing, you know, a lot of people see me on TV and at the protests and speaking, but it's not just me. It's everyday people who are making the change, and I never want anybody to forget that. Yes, I well, love it. But what I want to say is everyday people, uh, that's true, but a lot of people are everyday, and they're just not doing the things that you guys are doing and the things that you are involved in. And so for you to be young and powerful and making your voice is so uh, necessary for today to uh, keep those young people activated and old people as well, like myself, activated and doing something because everybody can play a part. So I just thank you. Thank you, thank you for doing your part. Thank you so much. And that that really is it, right? Like, we are all better together. And there are so many people who, like you say, that haven't been activated. But there are so many people who are activated and just don't know that they're activated. You yeah. know what I mean? We are all a part of uplifting our communities. You think about the inner city of D.C. and how black people who have been sustained in the city for so long. And we all have played a part in that, whether it's the go-go music, whether it's the culture, the style, the swag, the, the running for office, the working for government, being trash men, uh, working at the laundromat. We all play a role in keeping this society rolling. And they like to put certain people in the front, but, you know, there's no big eyes, little U's, as my dad would say. Yeah. I like that. I, your dad's shop. Yes. So, so, yeah, and speaking of that, you can tell that you come from good stock because of just based on your energy and what you have going on. There's a lot of young people out here, and I thank you, though, because like you said, a lot of people are doing stuff, and a lot of people don't know they can. So for those people who uh, think they're powerless, what would you say to those people who are young and they have energy to do things, but they don't feel the power to do it? 
Thank you so much. And I, I should shout out my dad, shout out to Lester Redmond. I should shout out my mom, shout out to Vanessa Corley. There might be some listeners that know. So yes, I'm very thankful for my parents and the foundation that they laid. Um, I would tell young people, you know, it was once upon a time where I was just a young inner city DC girl and people did not think I was going to make it this far. You got to believe in yourself long before people start believing in you. Yes, I remember indeed. when I used to tell people that I wanted to be a judge and I decided I was going to be a judge in fourth grade because one of my favorite cousins, Kevin, was always being incarcerated, going in and out of jail. And I was asking my grandmother one day, I said, big mom, who decided if Kevin go to jail or not? And she said the judge. And that's when I decided, well, I'm going to be the judge because something is wrong with this system. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the time, I didn't know about all the systemic issues, but as a child, I knew, like, something is wrong that these people keep blocking up my cousin. So yeah. I wanted to be the change that I wanted to see, even though I didn't see a lot of people around me being that change and being in those positions. And so, again, people used to think I was crazy, and now people write on my Instagram and be like, dang, Leslie, you did everything you said you was going to do. Like, I've been saying this since forever, and, you know, people were sleeping on me, but they awake now. They woke, they woke now. now. We, yeah, we all woke now. That's crazy that you was four, four years old talking about you're going to be a judge, right? Yeah, that was one of, one of the questions that came in from one of our viewers was, ask her how did she know, how and when did she know she wanted to become a lawyer? And so that, what you just explained, kind of answered that question. But you know, it's funny too, I, I never envisioned myself working with the NAACP or being a president of the NAACP. I always had, you know, I've read about them in the books and I knew about them historically and the role that they played. But you know, that's more of like the elite black people of the world that's using the NAACP. And I come from more humble beginnings. And, you know, I feel like I would tell people the NAACP was people that my family fought for. Like, all of my grandparents migrated from North Carolina, South Carolina, Houston, Texas, to D.C. for better opportunities. And so one of the things for me is really trying to make sure the NAACP is more accessible to all people. Like, even in D.C., a lot of people are not involved in the NAACP, and they see me, they be like, well, you know, maybe I should get involved now. I'm like, yes, because we got to be the change we want to see. And all of these organizations belong to us and our vehicles for us to liberate our people. We need to use every tool that we have in our toolkit wow okay so with that being said if you can have it your way you're a genie you can blink your wish right today what would it look like as far as your goal uh what would your overall picture what would you want to see happen if you had it your way your movement what, that, what is that that's an easy one let me tell you because lauren hill and uh, nas already said it and i if i rule the world you know like my biggest thing is opening up all the prison gates and liberating my people. And like, we need to go to Africa. And I'm not saying that we can't still have access in, to America and that America doesn't owe us reparations and that we don't have a place here. But I really don't think that they should be incarcerating any black brothers and sisters. And there's too many of us that are still incarcerated. So that's a lot of the work that I do. I don't know if you all um, were aware, but there was a brother by the name of Mayan Burrell and Amy Klobuchar kept mentioning her during her presidential um, campaign saying like, oh, you know, there was a young girl named Taisha Edwards who was 10 years old. Actually, I was 10 years old at the same time Taisha Edwards were. And she was, you know, striked by a stray bullet, unfortunately, and was mm. murdered as she was sitting at the living room table doing her homework. So it was a very sad story, right? Mm. But they used that to convict a 16-year-old of a life sentence for a crime that he didn't commit. You know, back then, they just wanted a warm black body. They didn't really care if you did the crime or not. Yep. Very similar to the war on drugs in our community and how they gave people life sentences for nonviolent crimes. And so we actually did a lot of advocacy, a lot of strategy, a lot of work, and Mayan Burrell came home in 2020. And so that was a big win. And now working on another innocence case of a brother who is incarcerated for a crime that he did not commit. There was never any physical evidence connecting to the murders. It was just jailhouse snitches and corrupt police officers. And so when you say what my vision is, it's really liberating our people, going back on the plantation, getting our people off, you know, uh, dismantling white supremacy, getting rid of poverty. People shouldn't be not having shelter, not having food in the nation capital and in the richest, quote unquote, country in the world. And so those are the type of things that I'm really big on, like beyond the racial justice um, you know, it's what Malcolm X said. This is human rights that we're really fighting for. I'm a humanitarian. I want to see humans having the things that they need to live a meaningful life and live out their God-given talents. I love it. Okay, so that's it. I, I love, love it. You are well, I love I, you. I, hands down, you're the best. So, like, 
Okay, that's it. You, you're the mayor and the governor and the president. That's Listen it. to that. That's it. Damn it. Everything. You want everything. And so the reason I say this is because I can feel the passion um, and the sincerity that you have for the people. Yes. And um, those are the people who do good. Yeah. And so anything that we can do at Spotlight over the city, because we're not just a talk show, we're a platform, and we're not just a platform, we're in the communities, and we're reaching out abroad. So anything we can do to help this movement, please tie us into it and tell us what we do, and we'll do that. Yeah. Because I love what you're doing, and you're so, so necessary. Yes, I agree. I stamp I, I, everything. I mean, speaking of that, I was very excited when y'all reached out to me because I haven't, you know, most of my work for the last decade has been outside of the city, which I love D.C. and I'm always coming back home and all of my family's still in D.C. But I plan on coming back and doing a lot of work in D.C. So I don't know. How did y'all find me? But I'm mean, really excited that y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do our homework here, Spotlight over the city. That's so right. We, I was we like, deal I got to get yeah. her on the show. Yeah. yeah. So if you lit, you on. We trying to look for you, and we trying to get I, you on. So yeah. you lit, and you on. Yeah. And so we love you being on. We thank you. And where can they follow you? Because our producers is waving hands and stomping feet. So if you could just <laughs> let us know where we can follow you and let all and the how people, people know can get involved. how they can get involved, then we'll shut yes. up and let you talk. A hundred. So follow me on all social media platforms. I'm probably most active on Instagram. It's Leslie E. Redman, L-E-S-L-I-E-E-R-E-D-M-O-N-D. -E -E um, also, my website is lesliredman.com. Very simple. Uh, you can also have access to my clothing line on Don't Complain Activate. Go support Black-owned businesses, Black women businesses. Yes. Uh, shop Don't Complain Activate. Get you some gears, gear for the entire family. Um, and from there, you'll see a lot of the advocacy work that I can do. And like I said, the next, actually, let me just say his name, you know, Philip Vance is the next brother that I'm working to help bring home from serving a life sentence. He's been in for 17 years, going on 18 wow. years in April for a crime that he did not commit. And so prayerfully, the next time I come in and talk to y'all, I'll be telling y'all Philip Vance is out too. Yeah. Yes. So I already know we're going to touch and agree and say, yes, that young man is straight on the way home right now. And I also Amen. say, let's do a segment called Behind the Wall, and I'll invite you back and be a part of that segment, because I got a lot of brothers that's still doing time right yeah, now. Yeah, let's do that. So I want to do a segment called Behind the Wall. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the love and all of the information that you've shared, and we'll love to have you back on. Yes, y'all give it up one more time one more for time. Leslie Redman. Woo! Yes, next I love up, her. Yeah, next up, we got who? We have got R&B star Highland Star coming up next. Highland Star in the building. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city, baby. Trying to make you lose her.
like to spotlight over the city, man. We got us another plus one in the building. And um, before I get into it, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been rocking with Spotlight over the city all this time. I want to shout some people out. Share the show, y'all. Uh, share the show. Make sure you guys share the show. Uh, Felicia, LaDonna, Roy, Michelle, uh, Sean, Sylvia, uh, Bernice, uh, Francis, Lakeisha. What's going on, Keisha? Uh, Sherry, Cuzzo. Mary, Sharon, and the whole gang. A lot of people, a lot of people. Thank you guys. Make thank sure you, you guys share the so show. Much. What's up, Please Eddie? What's up, Mike? Show. I see you. Uh, everybody that's a part of the gang, thank you guys for being a part of the show. Thank you uh, so much. Without further ado. Without further ado, we've got our next guest. We've got R&B superstar Highland Star in the Let's building. give it up. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Yes. Up, yes. I'm going to kick them out the building. <laughs> <laughs> what's up what's up what's up not much man you know just grinding you know trying to stay away from that coronavirus hey i, I already right. know say less so how you been doing as, as a matter of fact during this uh pandemic how everything working out for you man you know you know um you know i feel like the pandemic been a blessing for me you know what i'm saying because so, it's, it's it's giving me time to prepare you know what i'm saying for that stage you know to perform the right way you know what i'm saying to to be able to really touch my fans the way i need to you know what i'm saying because you got to think about it I got signed when the pandemic first started. You know what I'm saying? If oh, the man. pandemic went, never went on, then I would have just hopped on stage not knowing how to talk to the people, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing how to, you know what I'm saying, really, really interact with the, with the people, you feel me? So, you know, you know, I, I feel bad because a lot of families didn't die, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel real bad because a lot of people didn't die, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for me, you know what I'm saying, it was it, it was a great thing. So wow. you know, I'm gonna tell you something though, Holland. You're not the only person who said that. Like a lot of guests that come on Spotlight over the city, they kind of had the same sentiments. Me myself as well. A lot of people got more creative. A lot of people had less yeah. distractions. You know what I'm right. saying? So mm -hmm. evidently, you one of those people. Yeah. Tell us about this uh, climax challenge. So um, actually, man, uh, my boy Eric Bellinger, man, shout out to Eric Bellinger. This is one of my close friends. Um, he started a, a climax challenge. It was an Usher song for the climax. And um, he was basically just calling all singers to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, me, I go, I do my I do my homework. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if I'm going to do a challenge, I'm, I'm going to figure out, I'm going to go to Usher and I'm going I'm to I'm 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 look at all of the ways that he sung climax. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to pick the way that I want to sing climax, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to make it extra because a lot of singers was making it extra. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay in the lines, but I'm going to do my own thing. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And after that, you know, Usher, uh, 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 Usher ended up reacting to mine. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that was like That was like one of the big things, you know what I'm saying, in my career. Like, I was like, dang, like a legend, you know, actually, you know, um, sing. You know he, what I'm yep. saying? He heard me. And he acknowledged he said, it, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the, the Climax Challenge definitely, definitely, definitely helped me out a lot. So let me what? ask you something. When you first got Usher to reach out, like when he first reached out and you noticed this Usher, you, what you was like, damn, like what, how did you feel? Like, ah, <laughs> like, was you I like, oh, I'm lit. You, like, was you I like, was... oh, I'm lit for real. I know I'm lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was super excited. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I grew up listening to Usher. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, Usher's one of, my, one of my idols. You know what I'm saying? So I was super excited. You know, I definitely reposted it. Uh, and you know, you know, I, I ain't do too much, but just know I was in the studio excited as hell. I was like, yo, this is me singing, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hey. fuck? Like, that shit dope. Hey, but I'm going to tell you, you should be excited though, bro. Like if your talent take you there, man, be excited and push forward and keep on going. You should be excited. You got something to be excited about. That's right. Yeah. So what can we expect from you in 2021? What's going on? You know, like we all under the same stay at home and all this so crazy stuff. But outside of that, what can we look forward to from you in 2021? So definitely a lot more uh, entertaining, um, a lot more dancing, a lot more actually, you know, just performing on, 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 on bigger platforms, um, a lot of big features. A lot of songs I got coming out with, with, with bigger artists than me and just a lot of growth, a lot of growth. Um and, and and not getting no trouble, you know. What I'm I saying? know that's there right. you go. <laughs> that's right. That, hey, that's the key, bro. I'm telling you, a lot of youngsters, man, mess up the whole bag by getting in trouble early and getting messing in that trouble, situation man. up. That, that, so that, definitely uh -huh. don't do that. Stay clear of trouble. That's but right. I love your energy, bro. I like your confidence a lot, and I think that you're gonna be a heck of a performer when you do get a chance to get I out there. I do too. I stage. do too. Who I would think you? you're gonna light it up. So would you ever do like a virtual? Have you ever thought about I'm gonna do a virtual concert and just get out there and just you know, touch so my fans. So actually, 
actually a company reached out to my to my camp and 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 we're at, they actually want to set up a virtual uh, virtual tour for me. So I you like know, it. If the world don't open up no time soon, I'm definitely gonna be doing virtual shows. I love yeah. it. That was my question. Would you ever submit to a virtual? Show? Yeah. yeah. Who who would you mm -hmm. like to see yourself do a collab with? Um, definitely like Chris Brown. You know, Chris Brown for sure. He's 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 one of my favorite. You know, like like one of my favorite artists of all times. Um, definitely. Um, Donnell Jones. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Uh oh, you know what he I'm took saying? it He's over there. The OG. Okay, he took uh -huh. it over there. Yeah, OG. You know, I, I I actually had the chance to meet him at his listening party. Man, make sure y'all go download the sing. I mean, it's it's an album, hundred percent free. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got a chance to meet him. You know, we are supposed to be linking up in the studio, supposed to write me some music, and you know, we are supposed to be working. But um, you know, th those two guys right there are. Are like my influences, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I even got other influences, but the, the list goes, the list is, the list is long. So, wow, if I named all my wow, wow, wow. Be like, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, but I appreciate it. you. You went to the old school as a young, and I'm like surprised to hear you say that. So, the other question that I had is like, I ask most artists that come on the show, you got a one hour trip, one hour trip in your car, right? You can only listen to one artist the whole hour. Who is that artist? You can't flip. Once you put him on, you got to ride it out for a whole hour, and he got to get you there, or she got to get you there. Who, does, who is this artist? That's Chris Brown, bro. Chris Brown. That's who you're going to rock Chris Brown, with. bro. Chris. He got I, a good catalog, I, I, too, I, I, so he going to keep you entertained. I got to put on the breezy. I'm got to put breezy. Full moon. Hey, I'm that's a great catalog, moon. though, I right? Put it on. That's, <laughs> a, that's a hell of a catalog right there, right? Hell yeah. That's that a catalog. Got records yeah. for days. I'm talking about I'm talking about he got records on records on records on records. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So so we gotta wrap it up, bro, because the producer's waving. But I want you to make sure you give everybody your information, where they can follow you, what you have coming up next. Make sure y'all go follow me right now on all social medias at Highland Star, H Y L A N S T A R R and go stream my new song full, man. We charting right now. The song going up like crazy. It's nice. Um, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Make sure y'all go stream that, man. Uh, it's on all streaming platforms. And yeah, man, you know, just keep supporting. You know what I saying? tell you what, touch the artist a little bit, man. Just give him a little smidge. Give him two bars <laughs> real quick. Just give him two bars, Nala. Hey, Nala, give him two bars. <laughs> hey, hey, give him just two, just two. Just drop something. A little something, something. How a nigga have you messed it up? How a nigga have you messed it up? I said he gotta be a fool to lose your love, girl. Said he gotta be a fool, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, uh, the only the only reason I tried you to see was you gonna drop it on the dime. That's yes, all I wanted you, to know. He yeah, said, hey, stay ready. What? <laughs> hey, Holland, you ready all the way? Ready, he bro. Ready all hey, the way. Much ready. love to you, bro. I hope everybody. Make sure you go download the music. Make sure you follow the homie man, the bro lit. As you can see already. Can't I'm wait to have you in the studio, Holland. Yeah, for sure. Hey, for sure. Just let me know what's happening. Just see my publicist. She'll put it together. Yes. Hey, it's a done deal, man. Anything you got new dropping, make sure you link with us, and we got you right here on Spotlight. Let's give it up one time for Holland in the building. Yes, sir. I'm a star, man. Yeah, you already know. I love done. young talent. I do I too. I love young talent. I Super love it. I love talented. it. I love it. And he threw me off. I didn't even see this. Dude see, you lit. ain't even see him coming, did you? You wasn't <laughs> even ready. Was lit, but let's do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, without further ado, we got our next guest up. We got a commercial? Yeah. We got to go to a commercial break. And okay. then we do going to close out the show with our DMV artist. What? Marley B. Yep, yep. We'll be right yes. back after this commercial break. Spotlight over the city, baby.
with me. And so I got in cold. And everybody knew I smoked, so it seemed like the move. But when 12 ran down on me, I felt like a fool. You all by yourself, when you locked in and wrong. You don't know my story, you a fool to just a song. I've I been through some shit you niggas ain't accustomed to. Need for details, unless you want me to. I heard these niggas talking shit, I'm like, fuck it, that's cool. That don't really mean a lot to me coming from you. And it's seeing red bulls, I got a head full. I'm trying to put in maximum effort, like Deadpool. You cut me deep, I still feel the pain. I try to put a band aid on it, but it bled through. I tell you that I love you, you tell me the same. It's a fucking shame. You playing games, I just want your pleasure. You just cause me pain. I just want you all for me, but you don't want the same. I don't want to fight, I want you in my life. You who I think about when I'm up late at night. And honestly, I've been thinking about making you my wife. I know that your last nigga, he ain't treat you right. You got your heart broke, he did your ass wrong. But he a pussy, he got a glass jaw. He can't stand and we together. What you mad for? Stupid ass nigga, this is what you ask for. I'm a real nigga, you a bad bitch. Yo ex nigga, he need his ass kicked. My heart, girl, you got the other half of it. You got all these other little bitches mad as shit. Let's take a vacation, girl, you a trip. Let's take a flight, pack your bags and shit. Roll up some weed, pack past this shit. I think you so cute, I love the way you laugh and shit. We gon' smoke this weed, you gon' roll it for me. You gon' play in my dress, I'm gon' rub your feet. And then I eat your pussy, girl, come get this dick. She say that she can take it all, what we gon' see. Four in the morning, tell me that you want it. Bend you over, I got you moaning You love this shit, you want this shit You got this shit, no politics Rest in peace, Nipsey Hush The marathon continues In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. There you go, right there. Listen. When y'all go to the back, go in here. When y'all see me, y'all see me. Seconds. Hey, so we're hit him. What's up with you, man? Man, man, man. I got about this meat, my nigga. Oh, yeah. I don't know. See, I went to talk with my today, man. I don't know, man. It's going to work. I can't, I can't even really say. I got funny feeling. So, I already know what it is. Get in there. Get in the junk. Nigga up the bridge. Oh, 
all day long. Every time. All day long. Man, fuck it. Yeah, Birthday. Yeah, I mean, what? They ain't say nothing. Just keep calling. Hang out. It doesn't rain. As soon as you leave, it rain. It rain. It's not saying nothing. Just let me I get you. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. And man, we had a great time, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show, but we're not done. We got us another plus one in the building to close us out. But before we get out of here, I just want to say thank you guys for a new uh, year. Thank you guys for rocking with us again on Spotlight Over the City. This is our 2021 first show, you guys. So we had a great time. I hope you guys did as well. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, Spotlight Over the City, when you get out of here. Make sure you also keep locked and loaded with uh, Facebook, Spotlight Over the City, IG, Spotlight Over the City, uh, Twitter, Spotlight Over the City, man. Follow us, the movement, Spotlight. Without further ado, this guy right here, uh, I don't know that you got a chance to see what I see, heard what I heard, but the spoken word alone is a killer, like fire. But here today, he's here to light it up. So he's going to light it up for you guys and give you something uh, that you can leave home with. So guess what? Without further ado, we got the homeboy Molly out be in the building. Let's go. Let's give it up. Let's put the hands together. All my life. All my life. All my life, they been hating on me. 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 Back when I was broke, they was faking on me. Like, say she want me, cause I'm making money. Black to the bank, cause I think it's funny. I'ma keep going to the takers on E. Gotta do it for myself, cause I'm banging on me. Nigga, you can have it if you take it from me. But nigga, don't play, cause it's on me. All my life, they been hating on me. All my life, they been hating on me. Yeah. All my life, they been hating on me. Yeah. All my life, they been hating on me. All my life they been hating on me Back when I was broke they was faking on me Now she say she want me cause I'm making money Lap to the bank cause I think it's funny I'ma keep going to the takers on E Do it for myself cause I'm banging on me Nigga you can have it if you take it from me But nigga don't play Nigga don't play Cause I got that damn Better watch what you say Cause I let it bang I bust that so bang I ride for my gang You niggas be lame We not that Got a bad bitch with a little bitty and a whole lot of, a whole lot of Bend that ass over, she put it in my face, I'ma eat it like cake till I Get it all in my face, I love how it tastes, I think she the one that she got what it take No, this shit ain't no game, I ain't got time to play, I don't wanna talk, I don't got shit to say All my life they been hating on me, like say she want me, cause I'm making money Left to the bank, I think it's funny All my life they been hating on me, cause I'm begging on me Nigga, you can have it if you take it from me, but nigga don't play, cause I all my life they been hating on me. 
All my life they been hating on me. Yeah. All my life they been hating on me. Yeah. All my life they been hating on me. Yeah. All my life they been hating on me. Back when I was broke, they was faking on me. Like they should want me, cause I'm making money. Left to the bank, cause I take it. I'ma keep going to the tank is on E. Gotta do it for myself, cause I'm making on me. Nigga, you can have it if you take it from me. But nigga don't play, cause the tank is on me. I didn't realize all of these dreams were about you until I finally woke up. I never could have imagined the things that you've been through until you spoke up. Because whenever you roll up, we just roll up. But I should have been known by the way that her face was so blunt. And it's amazing how whenever I needed you, in some way you always managed to show up. Look at you now, you done glowed up. Grown like a rose, exposes her composure. She chooses not to disclose what she's enclosed until it's over. But it comes to a point where your love is weighing her down like a boulder hoisted upon her shoulders. Her heart turns colder, and as she turns older, a lot has changed. But she still remembers the lies that you had told her. The nights when you forgot to hold her and turned her into a loner. And all of the stress and tears then turned her into a stoner. You may think you know, but you don't really know her because... You don't know that the pain that you cause makes other niggas afraid to approach her. She choosing to let love vanquish is the cause of my anguish. It's like the flame that once burned bright had been extinguished when she said she couldn't do this anymore. I just couldn't understand. It's like she wasn't speaking English. I felt every word that she spoke, but she's saying she didn't mean it. Deceptions are deceiving, your actions are misleading. What you say isn't the same as I'm receiving. If I would have paid attention to the signs, then maybe I could have foreseen it. If I wouldn't have done you wrong, then maybe you wouldn't be leaving. All of the tears that staggered her breathing. Now she's crying and screaming like, nigga, give me a reason. Pleading, pulling away when I'm reaching, preaching like, nigga, you change with the seasons. If I tried to explain it, you wouldn't believe it. But I still think about you when I look at the moon in the evening. And I still bless you before I bless my food when I'm eating. Blizzy, what you cooking up? Exclusive hot new. We tell the Uber to come get her. Marley I B. Marley Bond. AKA your bitch ain't safe. Now your bitch back, nigga. I tell the Uber to come get her. Get her. Stack it up, jug and finesse, and F and N, that's my best friend. They tried to play me for pussy, I had to go teach them a lesson. You know I got it on me, I ain't got no time for wrestling. You know I be flexing, I might fuck on your bitch cause she all in my mansion. Me and your girl, we be texting. He said he want smoke, I don't need the Addy, I know the directions. And that bitch gave me the neck, she sent me news in a text. Said I get her pussy wet, so I had to check. She wanna touch my erection, she wanna fuck no protection. I put my kids Anything you could do, I could do better Bitch, I'm a hustler, I'ma go get her And if that bitch eye me, I'ma go get her She say she won't fuck with me, so I'ma let her They try to rob me, I know it's a setup Lay his ass down and make sure he don't get up I'm spinning the bin, the whole block getting wet up The chopper sound like hell Foot on their necks, I ain't never gonna let them I'm smoking that gas and applying that pressure I used to be broke, then one day I got fed up I started thinking about the way I went OTMT, I would die for them letters Bro, sent me a kite, he be writing them letters My partner got life, I told him he could be set up If your kids need whatever If you want problems, you know it's whatever We do what we want, it ain't shit you can tell us I'm making these moves and it's making you jealous This could be you, just get your shit together I see a shorty here to get together She tried to fuck me the first time I met her She followed my Twitter, got me on her header She said that she would have my kids These bitches ain't real, they change with the weather She said that you dry and it, I get a wetter She said that you try, but I still do it better The way she get hit, I won't never forget her She told me her name, but I still don't remember She said she was hungry, but get what I fed her Then after we done, make the Uber come get her Matter of fact, nigga, you could come get her You could come get her, you could come get her You could come get her Stack it up, drug and finesse and F and N, that's my best They tried to play me for pussy, I had to go teach them a lesson You know I got it on me, I ain't got no time for wrestling You know I be flexing, I might fuck on your bitch cause she all in my mansion Me and your girl we be texting, huh, huh, he said he want smoke I don't need the Addy, I know the directions And that bitch gave me the neck, she sent me news in a text Said I get her pussy wet, so I had to check She wanna touch my erection, she wanna fuck no protection I put my kids on her chest, you could come get her You could come get her, get, get her Make the Uber come get her Nigga, you could come get her, get, get her You could come get her You could come get her, get, get her Make the Uber come get her Nigga, you could come get her, get, get her Stack it up, jug and finesse and F and N, that's my best friend 
They try to play me for pussy, I had to go teach them a lesson You know I got it on me, I ain't got no time for wrestling You know I be flexing, I might fuck on your bitch cause she all in my mansions Me and your girl we be texting, huh, huh. he said he want smoke I don't need the Addy, I know the directions And that bitch gave me the neck, she sent me news in a text Said I get her pussy wet, so I had to check She wanna touch my erection, she wanna fuck no protection I put my kids on her chest Hey, y'all Marley like, y'all I can't B. That's all I got to tell you. If I could rap, you already know I'd tell you that. One more time for Marley I'll be. Give it up one time in the building. Let's go. Put Thank your hands for together. Me. Everybody Thank in the for building. Me. Put your hands together. You. Hey, this young man right here. Hey, you lit, bro. I appreciate you. Thank hey, you very so that much. That spoken word thing. That thing. Fire. So, what you like best before we get out of here? Do you, would you prefer spoken word? Or would you prefer to put the fire to the I lyrics? fell in a spoken word by accident. I love music, though. I love music. I could tell. I could tell that it's a natural thing for you, the way you just jump out there. I didn't know you was going to do both. Mm. So when I saw you do the rap thing, I was like, cool, he going to come and rap. But when you did the spoken word, I was like, move because of the words. That was all Yoshi really, really, I did. Yeah? If she wouldn't have told me to do it, I wouldn't have did it. Okay, shout out to Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi yeah. is a sharp sure, person anyway, sure. so she already lit. So we got to wrap it up. Producer screaming and hollering. We done went over time. But I want to say uh, I, I'm really proud of the young people for what y'all are doing. So... Keep what you're doing. Keep to the fire. Don't get off the gas, because 2021 could be a blessing for all of you guys. So um, we got to get ready to get out here. Make sure. Hey, man, spotlight over the city time. My wife, man, my wife uh, designed the jacket for me. We, we do custom jean jackets, denim jackets, camel jackets, that kind of stuff like that. So you can hit us up if you need a jacket to hit her. Don't hit me. So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So what it is is a custom jacket tells what you are, who you are, so everything on it should speak to you directly and who you are. So if you read the jacket, you read me. So that's how it goes. So got to wrap it up, you guys. Spotlight over the city YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Spotlight over the city IG. Make sure you follow. Uh, Spotlight over the city uh, YouTube. Uh, what else? Facebook. Uh, you, you, you UBM. Make sure we shout you guys out too. You broadcast media in the building. That's, that's the click. So make sure you follow us. Make sure you uh, subscribe to all the channels. Uh, man, if you love God, you chose wise. If you choose the devil, you chose your own demise. Love hard, live good. God first. Spotlight over the city, baby. For sure, for sure, for sure.